This is part five of my Dawn Guard Assassin Archer Let's Play, and all I've done since the last episode is sort of like travelled along, uh, continued along to uh, Four Bears Holdout, which is where the quest marker was taking me, and just stepped inside. Um, I've got Sarana the Vampire Girlie here with me still as a follower. Don't ask me why I've got a follower. The last thing an assassin archer needs is a follower, but I checked before I brought her with me that she can actually be told to wait. Um, and, and that, so she can. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell her to wait here. Where have you been? Where have I been? With your arms crossed? Sound like my wife. If I had a wife, that is. Anyway. If you say so. Wait here. So we've got a dog down there that I can see. We got a bloke over there, or a girl over there, or whatever, and we got a, a drop off here, which looks like an alternate route to get around to um, to there. And we don't actually have a quest marker to show us where to go here. I have got the quest on, I think. I don't want to wait on all. Prophet, rescue the moth priest. I'm actually going to have a bit of a play here. I got detect life and detect dead, so we'll run with detect dead and see what it shows me. It shows me. The dog down there and looks like another dog by that by that. It is another dog. Um, it shows me two up there and that looks like the moth priest I gotta rescue because it come up in blue. Anything down here? Nothing there. What about detect life? Two there on the detect life. Anything down here on detect life? Nothing down there. So I should be far enough away from everyone over there. Um, that I can take these dog here with a with a crossbow I reckon so I'll actually do that I'll take these dogs with a crossbow and the second dog makes it easy and goes straight to where the first dog was shot which is sort of what you'd expect them to do um, so we've still got that one there and one up the back there so one right up the back there and that one there. I could go with this I reckon but I reckon I haven't stabbed anything much for a while so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go around there and um, see if I can sneak in there and do some backstabbing. I think the last couple of um, things I've done have all been to do with uh, crossbows or bows. Those hound collars seem to sell alright. He hasn't got one on. Why haven't you got a hound collar? So we're still pretty safe to I'm all nervous about these gargoyles and them coming to life on me. Gargoyles everywhere. I don't know whether they're going to come to life or not. Oh, what's that? I don't want to fall in the river yet. I want to see if I can slink in the front door here. So where's that guy gone over there? Oh, he's down the bottom underneath the balcony there in the bright light. Where's the other one? Up there. So I reckon I can get up here quickly. Because Detect Life and Detect Dead has basically done my um, scouting or reconnaissance work for me here. Um, I'll just quickly check what shout I've got on. I've got Throw Voice on. I've got the dagger in my hand. Yeah, I've got the dagger out. So turn your back on me and go. I reckon I can probably get her to turn for me with the throw voice on the gargoyle there. Yep. So that was pretty easy and I should have been far enough away that throw voice only alerted that guy. So we'll put throw voice down there again and go to there. Okay, now hopefully you'll turn your back and I can chase you. Put your bow away. Come on, put your bow away. What was that? Nothing. Must be my imagination. Yeah, it's your imagination. Where'd you go? Turn your back on me and walk back. Okay, two down easy. So what have we got equipped? Detect dead. I think they're all dead up there. So it's showing me three and the person I've got to rescue. So 
So only three in the person I've got to rescue. So let's go back up this way. What do we got here? Stairs up this way. Yeah, three. Where was the third one? There's two over there. Where's the third one? Down there. In the coffin. And the Detect Life actually shows in blue the um, anyone that's dead that you can go and loot. So. How am I going to split these two? Oh, she's on the move. She's going to go in the coffin. Don't even have to uh, contemplate how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to roll around here and stab this guy in the back. Put the guy with the quest marker on. So that's that. He must have something we need to pick up, but we've still got these two in the coffins to get rid of. So we'll take that. We'll take the lock pick. Um, that leaves a quest marker up there. I reckon I'll take these two out. Um, how am I going to sleep in the coffin? I can open the coffin door by the look of that. So let's open the coffin door. Nothing. Let's pickpocket her and then kill her. Just take the lock picks. She actually caught me. My phone is going stupid. Sorry about that, the phone. I should uh, turn that off. So we've got to get this one in the coffin. Gold, gold. Don't want that shit. So there's one in the coffin here. So let's try this. Let's see if we can get it to come out. What was that? So that was easy. Gold dust, gold, sorry, vampire dust. So now we can go up to our quest marker and see what that tells us to do. And that should release the guy we've got to release, hopefully. My oh, hang on, he's but not good. Is dead, and his enemies will pay. Whoa, so... I'm sure I heard something. He's not good and he's indecisive. I reckon I've got to kill him. I've got to kill him. So send him over here, come here, and then hopefully get behind him. I will wait. Stop. I yield. Oh, no, he is good. That that wasn't me. You were fighting. I could see through my eyes, but I could not control my actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. You arrived just in time. I think those vampires were getting hungry. Ah, uh, what the moth proof? No, what do you know about Elder Scrolls? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls, though in time it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. Okay. Um. 
All right, then. Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. Ah. Uh, okay. You do? All right then. Enough mysteries. Okay. We're called the Dawn Guard. We need you to read an Elder you Scroll. Have an Elder Scroll. Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Okay, find us at uh, Fort Dawnguard. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Okay, so that's it. So I've got to go back to Fort Dawnguard too. So I'll end this here and what I'll do is I'll clean up all the, all the loot around here and I'll go back to Fort Dawnguard.